Hey everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Uh, today I will be going over how to send a freebie automatically via MailChimp. Uh, if you find this video helpful, please hit like or subscribe to the YouTube channel or to find more resources and freebies on dragonflyavenue.com. Okay, let's get started. So first off, uh, you do need to have a MailChimp account. We are using MailChimp for this. And this is the free plan. Um, I know that there have been recent changes sometimes to their free plan. Um, but as far as I know, this automation is still available on their free plan. So you don't have to pay for this. So we're going to start uh, by simply going to the automate section up on the top and we're going to select email. And now we're going to click automated and I'm just going to choose welcome new subscribers. Um, I believe, yeah, so you can, um, I'm just going to send a single email. Uh, there are a few options. You can do an onboarding series. Let's say you have like a mini course. Uh, you can set it up there. Um, an education uh, again, like an online course or something else. Onboarding series is also great for sending a follow-up welcome email or an about you, uh, whichever one you kind of are looking to do. Uh, for now, we're just going to do single email, but it does apply pretty much for all of these. You're going to look at the same uh, little pieces of information. So I would just update the single or the campaign name to your opt-in. And then select an audience. So I'm just going to choose this one for now just because. And then hit begin. So the main setting that you want to look at is the send to. You want to make sure that the delay is immediately after. That it's set to immediately after they subscribe. So if for some reason you're not seeing it like that, just click here to edit delay in recipients and make sure that this is being sent immediately after they join your email list. So once they fill out the information on your form, they will you know, get their thank you and then this email will be sent. You can change this to an hour, six hours or a day later in case you want to. And you can select trigger. Uh, when you import subscribers, um, I always do that just in case you need to. Uh, you can always update this later, but again, just make sure that this is saying immediately. And just save. You'll then select uh, the from and your subject line, and then go to content. And just hit design, edit design. So depending on the freebie that you have, it could be a file, a photo, it can be a password to a library like I offer. Um, it can be a guidebook, a whole bunch of things. It could just be your welcome sequence, so just an informational email. Whatever it is, you can add that in here uh, just like you do in any MailChimp uh, form. But for, let's say you do have a guide, we'll just set it up with a button. I'm just choosing button. You can uh, link this through text. I can show you that in a, momentarily. But here you can do download now. And instead of web address, you can go to file. Here you can upload your PDF or your whatever file that you have, your photos, your JPEG. And it'll live here, so let's just select the file that I have, and then just do insert. You can open a new window, or um, I always select select that, so it's a little easier. You can change the colors if you want. Um, let's do this pink, I don't know why. And then save and close. Again, if you don't want to add this button, you can just simply go, let's say, here, and then this little link icon. Again, choosing file if you have a file. Choosing a file, inserting, and then that's going to um, download or uh, go to open to a new screen so then your viewers uh, can see that file. 
So just save and close, and then you're gonna do save and continue. Next, again, to double checking that all of your settings are correct, and you're gonna hit start sending. Once you start sending, anytime someone subscribes to your list, they will get this email. I always suggest testing this out, um, adding your own name to the list, uh, making sure that it's working properly, um, but it should be, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Okay, thank you again. Let me know if this is helpful in the comments. Um, I really hope it is, and if you want to see anything else, feel free to let me know. Thank you.